Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dennis and this is Getting in the Game. And we had an almost disaster on putting the top on the fuselage, but it came out really good. So if you want to see what went on with that and some of the stuff I found out about the tail and what I'm going to do in the future, stick around. a little time out here on the tail of putting these brackets on and just uh, making sure that they miss the pieces and uh, took a straight edge from the top bracket down it's not in the final position but I had to trim up this this laundron so that it would miss and that one was in good shape didn't have to do anything to that one but those down there on the bottom of the laundrons had to trim those up to the same distance away from it and got that done. And so I could do that correctly, I went ahead and just put these in to make sure the spaces were correct. But now I think I'm gonna check out and see if I shouldn't put the whole top skin on. I'm gonna go think that through a minute. I went ahead and assembled all this and clicked it all in so that I could figure out the distance for sure on these. Um, I put a center line down through and they matched up nice. So drilled those, finished them. Uh, I've got these ready to go on. And now I think we should put the top on. But like I said, I'm going to think that through a little bit more here. One thing that concerns me, uh, I just riveted, or I just clecoed these side supports up and seen if I could get that pan in and out without the, with the roof being on. And I could, but I haven't done that back panel yet. So I'm thinking that I'm going to have to rivet, I'm going to have to click all that up and give that a shot and see. If I can get that out and in without any issues with these brackets in, then I think it's time. Well, I got it out, not without removing the side support. Well, that came off okay. Make sure you leave that in when you go to put this on. Don't rivet this on solid and then go install that through the hole. Here, I'll show you. This diagonal here will not fit down through that hole. It will fit through the hole, and then this hole, but it hits here, and there's no way to get it in the rest of the way. So before you rivet this on permanently, make sure you put that inside there like that through here. And once that's in there, go ahead, and then you can reach in to manipulate it if you have to. Um, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, this uh, this this Clico here is under a ton of tension, so that's going to be interesting to get a rivet in. I could work it with the Clico wires and get it in, but these are very tight. It's still too long, I believe, but it does work. We'll be able to get it together. All right, now what I'm going to do is this side is going to be the one that I let flex in and out. When I go to put the top on, the idea is to slide those cross members under the left side and then manipulate this side in and out until I get the rest of them. I'll have to probably tip it out, make sure one pops in, tape it, and work my way ahead. And because I can still, because I can still take this apart in the front right here, I can clico, unclico that and uh, move, manipulate this side in and out pretty easy. I don't know if you can tell. I know I always sound sinusy, but man, I got some kind of cold my wife gave me. Thanks, Jen. No, I'm kidding. I'm seriously not saying this trying to make it more dramatic, but I've got a big floppy skin there with no laundry rods up to it. So I taped some yard sticks on there. I don't have two people here, or I would get two people for this. But I have to take it from vertical to horizontal and when it goes horizontal, it's going to be really floppy. So I'm hoping that my yardsticks are in the back more, um, where it's thinner and wants to bend easier. The thicker sides have more weight, but they don't want to bend quite as easily because there's more metal there. So my plan is to put the tail end up, and I guess we just got to go for it and see what we get. It's definitely rolling. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to have two takes on this. I got all my popsicle sticks in. I may just have to bail on this and hang it back up and wait till later. I 
Because it can't go over far enough to pop under, I don't think. That one did. I'll bring you over for a close up on these last three. I just pulled this out far enough to get that one under. As you can see, I've only got one to go. I would like to do it without taking these out, but I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna be part of the game. Oh, this back one on the other side isn't in. Okay, that back one is in now. This is the tightest one because of these. See that. Well, not cool. Okay. I'm in complete panic mode right here, trying to stay calm and thinking, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Captured it with a clink on. Got a big disaster on my hands right now. Again. 
Now I can click on it if it's in the right spot, or I can just tuck tape. Okay, hope you learned from my mistakes. No, I can't pull back out. You're probably not going to be dumb enough to do this on your own. <laughs> I like doing things on my own, but there is definitely drawbacks, but it sure is a good feeling when you get it. There. Whew. Now this one's got to go back under. Oh my gosh, that one's under too. Whoa. <laughs> hey, I never took these out. Good, less wear and tear in those holes. Well, I think all the danger is out of the realm now, so I'm going to shut you off and I'm going to go up and I'm going to start maneuvering it around and click on it. Click. Before I do that, I'm just noticing that hole is a lot further forward than I thought. I thought it was more in this area with just looking at it. I didn't measure anything. Yeah, so your arm... It's going to be quite a reach to get it in the back. So again, make sure this is in before you rivet the outside off. Just lay it in there somehow. As you can imagine, it's just a hair out of square because it's trying to figure out where it wants to live. So the front on this side, once that was all up, this side had to be racked just a titch, which brought, the, which brought all the rest of them in. Tape sticks to some important parts that I need and throw it away. That'd be just rich. You guys ever do anything like that where you just never could find something after you had it? I've never done that. I think it's time to take those sticks out. Popsicle stick through the holes. Boy, whoever put that out on, I forget, you know, you watch so many. I'm very thankful for that idea. I might not have thought of it. Let's see if with my sleeve off, I can reach back there to put the angle in. Might have to have. Did my grandson do it? So I definitely want to leave that off. Well, if I can't reach in to place this, then maybe I'll have to make a little gusset here. Well, let's see if I can reach in there and touch it. If I can reach in and touch it with my sleeve off. Ooh, my coat off. Oh, I can grab that fine. Oh, good. That worry's done. With my coat in there, it wouldn't go through the hole. Another quick thing is uh, this kind of material that goes around wires, collapses and pushes back, and it fits right down inside the channel of the Londron. And uh, so when I pull my wires through those eyelets that I made, that last little bit here can fit down there tight right in that corner. Matter of fact, if you don't worry about it being in a casing for letting the heat off wires, um, you can put that the full length and uh, it works as a conduit. But I'm only gonna put it in just from here to here, and then somehow this will wire up at the rear tail. I don't think with DC we have too much to worry about with heat, but I think that's the primary reason why, I believe that's why conduit is uh, so good. It's uh, very protective, but it also seals in the heat that the wire makes, so it doesn't cool good, so. I don't know how much that plays in an issue in airplanes, but I keep mine out of kind. One last thing I had to show you. Of course, my table's all kitty wampus. I tried leveling it, but it's off its cardboard and stuff over here. I had it on cardboard. It kind of sunk in. It's not perfectly level anymore, but
but I just wanted to show you this. Um, that's kind of just a preliminary. It's touching the right side of the bubble. Inside, it's touching the right side of the bubble. And on the very, very back, it's just a hair over touching the right side of the bubble. That thing's not off much, just sitting here. All right, that's good news, thanks. That's really good, Zenith. So what I'm probably gonna do is just put the box on this one side, right there, on the uh, Longeron, and it just puts, tries to put a twist in it, and uh, let it sit there and think about it for a while. And uh, that's probably where I'll have it sitting when I go to rivet it up. I'll double check for level, level but when I go to rivet up the majority of it, um, I'll have some tension on it. Maybe I'll even put a little bit of weight right here on this side with a sandbag or something. And uh, yeah, then, then I can rivet the bottom in and it'll be where it wants to be. All right, this would be a nightmare if it wasn't right and I pulled these out. Because to go back in there to do anything, I'd have to lay a piece of plywood and it still would probably hurt that bottom. It's not made to, to support somebody's my size in there. So the back ones I know are good. It's time. To me I'm really happy to get that on get this squared up it's still really wobbly until this is constructed all right I think we'll end this one right here hey thank you. you know the drill if this gave you any kind of help whatsoever please like it, it really helps I appreciate it and um, if you want to continue on the build and see more of the process then uh, then hit the subscribe button and you'll get notifications if you hit the notification button. Hey, thanks a lot for coming along. I really enjoyed uh, putting this down in a video form. We'll see you in the next one.